Good morning everybody, Lynn here. Well here it is, Friday morning again. Friday seems to be filming day for me. It's the one day of the week that I actually get a little bit of time to myself. So it seems to be becoming a habit that I film on Friday, which is a good thing. Um, I just thought I'd jump on this morning and just um, go through this week, the things that I've been creating this week. It's been a really productive week for me this week. I have actually managed to clean and organise my entire craft room. I'm lucky enough to have a bedroom in our house just dedicated just to my craft room, so it's great. But it just gets so messy, so I've spent a good part of the early part of this week organising, cleaning, rearranging, re boxing things so um, it's been great but of course now I don't know where anything is so it's a little bit difficult when I, I want to reach for something and it's not there but in any case it's been good because it's given me a lot of inspiration finding things that I um, forgot that I had forgotten that I had so um, this week I've gone back into um, sewing I love sewing it was a passion that I um, discovered later in life as as young girls as teenagers you know when you're at high school and um you're learning to sew i never paid any attention my mum was a machinist she used to make all our clothes when we were kids she made our wedding dresses she was constantly making curtains and and mending our clothing so i never paid any attention when i was younger because mum would do it for me but as i got older and i had my own children i became quite interested and passionate about sewing I can only do small projects, um, I'm self-taught, um, but yeah, it's just, I love paper crafting, but I, but sewing is just a different passion, I enjoy both, and I try to incorporate the two as much as I can, but, but anyway, this week I have been making some needle books, um, I discovered needle books, I, I looked on Pinterest, um, well actually I saw a, um, um, a YouTube video on needle books, and never even knew what a needle book was. Um, watched this lady and thought it, it was interesting. Then I went on to Pinterest, as we do, and, and researched different images and different ideas and, and, and came up with my own little idea for a needle book. So um, this this is, I have, I've created this stock for the Etsy shop, so these kits will all be going into the Etsy, Etsy shop later today, hopefully. But I just thought I'd do a little flip through of the needle books, if you've never seen one before, or um, if you've got some of your own, please post a, a picture in the comment section below. I'd love to see what other people do with needle books. But yeah, so this one, this is a violet um, violet material. It was actually a tablecloth um, that came from my mum. Uh, we had a big clean up a little while ago and she threw away a lot of linens and laces and I was lucky enough to snap them all. So this one is, um, again, it's all fabric. I have... Um, sew and wadding in between the two cotton sides. Um, I've got some purple lace on this one, quite broad lace as you can see it goes from the back to the front and I've just put a little bit of doily lace there and, sew and have sewn a couple of buttons on in the spine. Um, this has got a button closure and a, and a piece of calico for, for a tie that I've just sewn on the back. I just love these little things. I think they're such a great idea. So I've just, uh, in my needle books, all three of them, um, the inner, the inside is is so similar throughout. Um, so yeah, I've just done uh, this one here. It's got like a little uh, fabric button cluster that I've just put on that side, button the, the closure button there and that one there. And I've just, um, I love these pearl pins with the different colours. So I've just, uh, in each needle book I've put 20, 20 pins. So I've just put 10 there. I've machine sewn all around. I, I tend to love this messy stitching. Um, so yeah, I, I sort of, it, it creates more of a shabby chic feel, vintage, you know, love it. So anyway, so they've all been machine sewn around. Uh, then we come to the center page and I've just done a little pocket in each one. And I've just um, put a little cluster of uh, safety pins there. This one is attached on a, onto a um, calico ruffle. And in this one, I've just, uh, again, I had to incorporate a little bit of paper craft, so I've just made a little sleeve, and inside the sleeve, just like a tag, I've just got a little collection there of threads that you may use, uh, just for quick darning, fixing up, fix, fixer up as sewing on buttons, things like that. So that one lives in there. And then on this side, I've just put the word inspire, because, you know, these types of, types of projects do inspire me when I see other people making them, so perhaps I can inspire somebody. 
um, in each kit I've made a little paper tape measure. Um, these are, you often find them in the Kaiser Craft paper packs in their sticker sheets, so I thought what a brilliant idea. So I've just backed that onto some coffee dyed um, paper and it measures a 30 centimetre ruler, so that could be handy and I've just folded that one up and he just lives in this little pocket here. And uh, then I just made a little needle flip book, uh, which has got your sewing needles inside. This one I put a little pocket inside, the others I didn't. I don't know, I kind of forgot that idea as I was making them, but I think they look sweet anyway. And I've just machine sewed and distress inked all my paper. I tend to find nowadays I can't, a project to me is not finished unless it's got sewing and inking. That's me. <laughs> it takes a bit more time, but you know, it's just to me it looks finished. So that's the centre page, and then at the back again, I've just, you've just got your 10 needles. Um, there's plenty of other areas for you to add more safety pins or darning needles, or oh, you could, you know, stick on another little pocket somewhere if you wanted to. Um, yeah, they're just really, really sweet little books. So that's the first one. That is the purple violets. And that just again just attaches with the cloth around the button. Um, the second one, this one is a very old family, I won't say heirloom, but it's been handed down from my grandmother to my mum and now to me. Um, I guess I, I place different values on things, whereas my mum kept it, you know, neat and, and ironed and, and pressed in the linen cupboard. I, I tend to bring it home and cut it up, but that to me it's just as beautiful. Um, so again, this was a tablecloth. It's all been hand cross stitched, um, an actual cross stitch from my grandma. Um, and on the spine again, I've just put some of that doily lace down the spine. And I've, I've, the closure on this one is a vintage glass cut button, and that again um, comes from my grandmother. Again, the same closure, the same style book inside, where you open up to your front page, and I've just got the ten pins put there and then again your middle page I've got the pocket keepsakes in this one uh, I just thought that was that was really sweet you've got your uh, fabric not fabric sorry paper tape measure your little needle book sewing needle book sewing around and distress inked around that one uh, your, your little cluster of safety pins and I've just used some really vintage lace there to hold them in place and for this one I've just put in a, a lace swatch uh, I've just chosen um, quite a, a, a little bundle of laces from my stash and, and sort of materials and I've just put them all together with a safety pin. They come in handy really well when you want to do clusters or just, you know, put a fabric accent on a journal page or on a piece of ephemera. They're just really, really pretty. So I thought they looked really cute stuck in there. And then turn the page again and again you've got your 10 pins on the on the that page there. Again, they've all been machine stitched around. Um, they're so sweet. They're soft and, and um, oh, you could carry them around in your handbag for just you know, a little mending when you're out and about. I just think they're really sweet. And then this one here, this one is a brighter, a brighter one. This was a set of curtains um, that my mum had made. Um, calico, but it's a cotton print. And it's like that old country cottage type Print. It's really pretty, uh, like trees and love hearts and there's cups of tea and bird houses and um, little tags and yeah, it's just really pretty. So I had a pink, a pink doily um, that I that I thought matched the colours nicely and I just attached a little pink button right there. And this is more of a, it's still in the pink tones but more towards the red. But I thought it picked up really pretty. On there's a lot of red in this one. So again, just your same old fabric closure and open it up and again your 10 pins and this one has got you know your print of the of the curtaining through it such so pretty honey pot and some uh, little planters there a bit of patchwork there um, and then this one here opens up and again you've got your, fab, uh, your, your safety pin cluster on a bit of lace happiness because I thought this made me feel really happy I love this material you've got your, fa um, your paper tape measure your little sewing needle wallet in there and on this one I just put a selection of um, embroidery thread so it's just like a little card there backed onto some coffee dye paper that one can live in there and um, 
yeah and your pins again so that's the three needle books that I have been creating this week um, with this needle book I had a lot of scrap left over so I just made a little tassel to match I think isn't that sweet you could hang that on the back on the side of a journal down the spine you could make it a key ring holder you could put it onto a key, uh, one of your, a child's school bag so they know their bag yeah just really really easy I just had I laid out the, the strips of, of fabric pinched them in the middle and just tied a little piece of satin ribbon around the top and then threaded it through onto a um, a silver binder ring so I thought that was really sweet so for the listings for the Etsy shop I've also made these little button bags little calico button bags and I've just put a little stamp it's a, hand, it's a stamp and up stamp on there and attached it with a safety pin and I've put 20 of assorted buttons in these so each of one of these little needle books will come with a button bag um, yeah and, and I've just put a real selection of buttons in there um, all sorts of big small you know different colors brights and, and clears and things like that so yeah but they're all different I've, I've got a, a little bit of a button collection happening and so I've just randomly chosen so each kit will come with 20 buttons in the little button bag so yeah so that's the first lot of stuff that I've been creating I, I um, yeah I have had a lot of fun doing these because again you know you paper craft all the time but then just to come away from the paper craft and do some sewing it's, it's just a different a different pleasure all in itself so that is those and as I said they'll be listed in the Etsy shop sometime today hopefully that just depends whether my grandson visits or not so that's the three of those and then I thought I would I've, I've seen a lot lately I don't know if it's it's just a new phase that's going around again or if it's always been in the junk journaling world the crafting world but I've just seen a lot of it at the moment specimen cards and I've, I've looked at just different digitals and I've looked at different tutorials and I thought I'm going to give this a go you know I love the finished product of a specimen card but boy they take a lot of time you know they're fiddly they're small there's a lot of cutting and measuring and in the way I've been doing it if somebody can give me an easier way please leave a comment and let me know but yeah I doing the needle books I came across um, I had the sewing needles and I looked at that and it was like a, a little wallet that needles sat in and I thought that's a really great size for a specimen card so I, I used that as my template and uh, yeah these are the finished products um, I've got two in this design the two butterflies and it, it's just um, it's Kaiser Craft scrapbooking paper and I've just um, basically cut cut cardstock to this shape and then lined it with the scrapbooking paper uh, I went through all my papers and found these butterflies so fussy cut the butterflies out and then I put them between uh, a, a laminating sheet and put it through the laminator and then cut it to size now that could be common practice I'm not sure that's the way I do it um, and then once I had teamed them all together then I just found some little odd little dates and little ephemera pieces from like Tim Holtz and Edith Holden pages and and scrapbooking paper just to put them together to make them look like oh they could have been a specimen back in the day you know when I don't know do people still use specimen cards these days I'm really not sure so that's the first set that I did and then this one was um, your plants so again same thing I just picked my images ran them through the laminator cut them to size and just with scrapbooking paper and again some little embellishments I created those that, that little set there again on the back and I machine stitched around around them all and distress inked as I do so that was those two and then these two I'm still working on um, although I did make a mistake I forgot to put my images in between the two the two papers before I stuck them together so this one here is going to be awfully thick but yeah so it's just your two um, your, your template you cut it to the size or I, I put it that way actually cut it to size and um, yeah just decorate it however you feel get your images and again these are these have gone through the laminator they're yet to be cut so you just find where it needs to be cut and uh, yeah and glue it all together and and I think they look, they look really really lovely they're just a different version of ephemera 
um, the next journal that I want to start on is a botanical journal, so these will be brilliant in that journal. Um, yeah, so I was really, really pleased with them. I thought, hmm, that may not be the traditional way that you do specimen cards, but it's working okay, although, like I said, extremely fiddly. So yeah, that's um that's really about all I have to show you today. It's really lovely sitting in this clean room. I, I I've got plenty of space. I've got my tables much bigger. I've I've brought in another table that holds all my my supplies on the other side of the room. So that's been wonderful. And um, yeah, so I just thought I would jump on. Oh, just one other thing to show you too. Um, before I go with the spe when when I was creating these specimen cards, because you cut out the centre. I had a whole lot of little little pieces cut left over, all all perfect little square, or they're not quite square, they're more of a rectangle. But I'm going to make these into just tiny little embellishment cards. Um, you know, I'll just pattern paper onto some cardstock and sew around, and then you know, put a bit of lace trim, um, whatever else, a, a image on there. I've got some mushrooms, so yeah, I'll be creating those as well. Um, and putting them in this next journal that I'm about to, to start on. So, so yeah, just just little ideas of what to do with your offcuts of cardstock. Um, yeah, these don't take a lot to produce. Like I said, fiddly but fun. So, um, yeah, that's me. That's about me for today. That's what I've been doing. And um, now I have the fun job of going out and mowing the front yard. We don't have grass in our backyard, which is a blessing, but my front yard's fairly big. So. I'm going to try and get out there before it gets too hot and um, yeah after that I think I'll start I'll come back into my craft room and, and do a little bit more well I hope everyone has a lovely Friday uh, if you're in Brisbane if you're in Queensland probably the whole of Australia it's extremely hot so keep cool and um, yeah I'll talk again soon have a great day bye